gag me, take me to the bunny ranch. People dying, kill me in the packing house. I have a microphone in my hand, and yet you still haven't learned how to use it properly. Uh, and that's the Bunny Ears Promise. Welcome to Bunny Ears. I am Matt Cohen, joined by... Uh, I am um, Mecca Lecca, Devon Sawa, Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, you added Matthew McConaughey in the last couple, couple yeah, and I like a, it. Yeah, because he's, yeah. he's, a, he's a Mick also. That works. Yeah. <laughs> um, watch out, Mick Jones, we're coming for you. Who's Mick Jones? Was he from like the Monkees? No, honestly, no, no. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, no, yeah. Was, I think it might have been, right? No, Mickey Dolans. Yeah, there's Mickey Dolans. Someone's named Mick Jones. And there's Davy Jones. Yeah, man. Yeah. Back by popular demand, and yes. clearly not our choice. Uh, <laughs> yes, because it's, it's only your demand, guys. Uh, from Columbus, Ohio, it's Stuart P. P. Miller. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> What's up, Stu? I, I want one boop at the end of that. Boop. There we go. Hey, how, how you been, brother? I've been good. I've been good. Long, guys long been? time no speak. Yes. Has it, yes. Has, it, has it really been since Las Vegas, Stu? Yes. <gasps> yes. Oh, man. What? At, luckily, everything stayed there, and we didn't publish it all as a podcast. Yeah, yeah. We didn't talk about anything in Las Vegas. No one knows you're a wasp. Out to yeah, yeah. everywhere. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How's it going home these days to Columbus, Ohio? Oh, it's fantastic. And I, specifically, what part of Columbus, Ohio again? It's with a B, right? Yeah. I, I hail from Bexley, Ohio. Uh, that's where I was born. And then raised in Granville. You gave me a factoid the other day about Bexley, Ohio. Hit us with it. Uh, I, I believe Bexley uh, has the largest population of Jewish people in it in all over Ohio. Warren, I did not ask for that information. Stu was just stereotyping me when he told me that. <laughs> that is so not he was true. Just offering up I Jew could facts. totally see you asking about how many Jews are there. He, he he made fun of me, Ohio, for for the Midwest not having a strong Jewish population, and I was like, you know what? Let me tell you about a little town called Bexley, Bexley. where there are 12 Jews. <laughs> um, All 12 of them live on the top of a hill. Yeah, they live and on they have, Jew. And they have all the gold. They live on Jew Hill. <laughs> yeah. uh, they work in the gold business. <laughs> yes. um, all the other Ohioan, Ohioan? Yeah, Ohioans. <sighs> Oh yeah, whatever. Yeah, get used to it, bro. You know what, yeah, Ohio? Yeah, yeah. We've talked about Australia having their problem with racism. We talked about South America with their kidnapping problem. Uh, we've we, talked about Hawaii, Detroit. the Hawaii winds being. We, we, yeah, we should how talk about. Are they? We should be talking about Ohio's problem with awesomeness. That it's just with an awesome awesomeness? Thing. awesomeness, awesomeness, awesomeness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. It's, yeah. it's tough. Ohio. When you're the, the Buckeye State, you're awesome, and that's all there is to well, it. Here's the thing: you guys are very Ohio. You guys put the in front of everything. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, like the Ohio State University. Yes, that's because it's the one. Warren, uh -huh. if there's any Warren listening from Ohio, here's the deal: uh, sell me on you. Like, what, what's it, why is Ohio great? It seems yeah. like you got no flair. I'll be honest. Uh, uh, honestly, well, honestly, give us a call. Yeah. What, what's our number? Uh, actually, uh, yeah, we have a number, and I can yeah, never yeah, remember. Yeah, while while Matt's looking up the, the number, for Ohioans. It. Don't even lower yourself to having to boast about Ohio because you're Too great late. and you know it. And you know not to listen to Stu, so you can boast at 845-393-4629. That's 845-EASY-E-HOAX. Leave us a voicemail. Tell us why we should come to Ohio and why it's not just... Like that scene from Pootie Tang where he goes it, to the farm. Yeah, it, it, it's not just how is how's the sushi things. in Ohio, yeah. Mac? How's the sushi? We've done this. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this week's episode, Stu's yeah, we, here. We, we have, yeah, Stu's here, so we're doing like a thing. Yeah, Stu's here, so we don't trust him to just generally have a conversation. So we need <laughs> no, strict, that. rigid themes. I am a fantastic All we want to do is talk about Ohio. <laughs> and we're not going to mention it again. And this week we thought, look... We were going to say, oh, we haven't done a music episode. What's, what's that classic music trope people do? Desert Island discs, right? What, uh, what CDs or, or, or uh, mini discs, as it were, which I have, I'm a big adapter <laughs> it, of. It depends on how old you are. I had a Boys to Men mini disc. What records would you buy? <laughs> mini <laughs> disc? I remember those. <laughs> um, what, what CDs would you bring with you on a desert island if you were stuck there forever? And we at Bunny Ears Incorporated, which isn't what we're called, uh, decided to take that one step further for this episode. And we are just going desert island. Basically... We came up with five categories. We all picked a main choice and a runner-up. And uh, basically, the we're, we'll give you the categories. You'll be stuck on the island. You're stuck on an island forever with, with this person. Yeah, sustainable, and, but also, it's, like, it's it's not just like what you just uh, banned. 
It's your desert, like you have to also like live. It's with your them. literal desert like, island. You band. have to. Like, yeah, like, you're not just bringing a CD. You're bringing the band with yeah, you. Like, you'd you have gotta, to live with Mick. You got to cohabitate. Oh, <laughs> you took my spoilers. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm sorry. So speaking of bands, let's just start it off. So again, the rules of this are: we came up with categories. Uh, me, Mac, and Stewart over here picked a couple, and uh, not only is it like. We're bringing this with us to the island, but they ha- they are now our only person we live with on said island, right? So we yes. did bands first. Let's go. Stu, who did you pick? Uh, I went with the Beatles for my first pick for band. Uh, the reason that I went with the Beatles was that I figure if along the way on the island, you know, strings break or whatever, their music is... It, it is basic enough that we could probably make instruments out of the, out of the things that we have. I yeah. like yes. that you're saying we as if... In this world what? where the now Be- he's in the Beatles, you're in the Beatles because they live on the <laughs> island with you. Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm I mean, the yeah. gopher. I'm Honestly, the gopher here. <laughs> I, I would actually say he would be in the Beatles in a scenario like. I that. think Dave Navarro lives in L.A. I'm not a part of whatever band Dave Navarro is in that I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're, but, we're, we're, we're cohabitating on an island. Time, also, you're cohabitating on an island. Like, yeah, if it literally it's just five Beatles and you, I'm pretty you're sure you call yourself a Beatle. Yeah. <laughs> you're the only Beatle fan. Yeah. yeah. Well, n- not. With the other people uh, I have on here, here. who did you go say, for, here, Mac? Here, yeah. Here's what I'll say is that I had the Beatles on here, and I said, "Yeah, but they would totally fight near the end." <laughs> so, <laughs> Good call. well, we're not bringing Yoko. No, uh, just imagine. Uh, also, like, okay, the, the end of the band, so they're gonna fight with each other. Right. But also, you have to keep living with them after the fight. Sure. And it keeps going and going and going well into the 80s. Sure, sure. <laughs> so for my band, I picked Fish because A, I, love, I knew you, you, knew I I knew you would. I love Fish. And here's the thing. If you think I love a 26-minute piper, wait till I get to hear a four-day piper because they got nowhere to go. Here, here's, 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 if you like long fish songs, you get an eternity of long fish songs. And, I, <laughs> and honestly, guys, I'll just we'll do the runner-ups real quick. My runner-up, if I can't well, bring Fish... Well, I actually didn't even get my first. I just oh, told. I, was, I, just, oh, I, I thought just it was the Beatles. No, 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 no. I explained oh, why the Beatles. We skipped we got, around. No, yeah, exactly. God damn it. Um, we got to start um, the show over. I have OCD. Is that, uh, I got my buddies, uh, you know, Hardmar Superstar and Adam Green, because I love them and like would like to hear their shit all the time. Uh, I wrote Devo question mark. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know uh, uh, more Bowie <laughs> question mark, and also uh, a young Debbie Harry. Okay, well, that one I get. Yes, thank you. you. <laughs> okay. yes. We're me, all men here. Hashtag me too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I don't yeah, think you so chose a young one. Harry. Yeah, he, the top one is the one he chose. Oh, okay, the top one. So if one Fish okay. is the band I'm bringing with me, and if they can't come, my backup is a Fish cover band. Stu? <laughs> You're the worst. It's I want to hear Julius. <laughs> <laughs> You're the worst. My past and my future precisely divided? I So I also chose Fish as my backup band to the Beatles. You can't have them. Uh, well, I'm getting them. <laughs> they're, they're already, or, they're already, already booked. <laughs> they're already booked on an island <laughs> booked, somewhere. Yes. <laughs> That's, Jutopia. That's cool because I got that's the. What I'm calling my island, that's, by the way. <laughs> Fair enough. It's Jutopia. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. Uh, I and I I chose Fish because I figure if I didn't really want to hear them, I could just hear them cover somebody else. No. When would you, you not want to hear? It's blasphemous. I know, uh, but hey, hey, the Beatles. Do you know any Fish songs? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish. <sighs> <laughs> right? Okay, everyone we missed you that opportunity. You see Matt Cohen's face right there. Because <laughs> I've heard know. it the other way around. O, o, o face. There was an O face going on. I a, love l- it. a little bit of an O face. So, yeah, so we got our bands. And, like, look, I, you're the only one who picked a female, which seems smart as a heterosexual. Thank you. And, like, look, there is a little bit. We, we played it like, look, guys, we're not going to be gross because it's a bad time to be gross. Yeah, no, no, no. But like Spice Girls or something. Or like, yeah, just like Madonna. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. You know, Stu, yep. who do you love? Who, who's your, your Rihanna guy? Who do you oh, love? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Ashanti? Uh, no, no, it's it's definitely Anna. It's still back to Anna. Wait, are you talking? Are you talking? A, a girl that you'd want to be. A girl band. A, yeah. a girl band. Who, 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 who catches both categories now? We're going dude on it for a second. So now it's a band you'd want to hear and pretty ladies that you might want to date. I, I want Zach Attack. <laughs> so friends, 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 like Kelly Kapowski. We'll yes. always be friends. Friends I'm to- forever. I'm totally gonna snipe Kelly Kapowski out of uh, out from under uh, Zach Morris. There you go. No, I, I'm I'm not really sure because I I told you guys music is not my forte. Okay, moving on then. Yeah, I'll, I'll come up with it by the end of the <laughs> yeah, show. Exactly. Cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Our, our second category was what author author would you bring with you on this desert island stew? Hit us uh, with your number one. I went with Stephen King for my number one. All right. And I, why? Because I, I figured, like, 
at night when we got to build like a bonfire or whatever. He could tell you a campfire story. He'd be really good at campfire yeah. stories. Yeah, but it would scare you. If you're in a world I've of fear. I've taken care of that. I've taken Ooh. care of that. Ooh. Just wait for later. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Is it an it thing? All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Macaulay, Macaulay Culkin, what author are you going to cohabitate with? On, okay. on your, what's your island called, by the way? Mine's Utopia. What's yours? Uh, mine is um, uh, uh, Changeland. Changeland and Stu? <laughs> I'll come up with that later also. <laughs> not so good on my feet. Guess not what, so good buddy? On my feet, Here's buddy. an early birthday gift. Stu Topia. <laughs> oh, uh, wow. Wow, thank you. Know. you. Yeah, I didn't even get that. Was, yeah. that, was, that was clever. Yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah. Um, I like the movie Zootopia. What can I say? I've thought about it a lot. Uh, uh, so, yeah, no, I have uh, I have uh, uh, Salinger, but he'd be completely insufferable. That's what I wrote down. <laughs> why and would then, you want him then? Well, exactly. That's why I don't really have a number well, save one. save your runner-up. Save your runner-up. Uh, right, you only right. got two. For me, I picked J.K. Rowling, and I'll tell you why. Write me 50,000 Harry Potter books. I'll read them forever. Yeah. Like, I would read Harry Potter books for you the rest of my life. You guys are know. Where is she going to write them? On coconut shells. <laughs> Leaves. <laughs> so, coconut shell. Like, uh, With, like, bird, Harry Potter. bird blood. <laughs> or she can just read that. She could just recite them to me, and, I'll, and I will know them in my heart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just in, in, the, in the sand. And then and she'll get, wipe away each paragraph. And you get to do that fun thing where it's like, hey, who would win in a fight? But she would know better than anyone. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like the Chris Farley show, but just forever. What You're wand like, is stronger? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Remember that one time you wrote Harry Potter? And she's like, I wrote another book. And I'm like, yeah, but no one read that one. Yeah. <laughs> that like adult mystery thing? Yeah. Stu? Uh, for my runner-up? Mm-hmm. You, Cohen, you're just, you're reading off my list, man. I Am I JK. doing... I went with J.K. Rowling also, because you know what? If I don't want to be scared at that bonfire storytelling, I'd like to hear something magical. Hey, you know what? Go fuck yourself, because all the people I picked for number one, you're like, ugh, if I have to take them, I guess I will. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you guys can go fuck each other. You're doing, <laughs> you're doing Rowling also? Yeah, for, for my runner-up. You love it. You love, you're only thinking in terms of bonfires. Yeah. You don't want to take a uh, break during the day from a busy day of, like, hiding from tigers? And salinating water, desalinating water. Excuse me, what are you crazy? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 yeah, wait, wait, salinate. Yeah, who would want to salinate <laughs> water? Uh, you wouldn't want to like take a little break and be like, hey, tell me about Dobby. Uh, Give me a little Dobby mini sode. Uh, Dobby, Dobby, <laughs> Dobby, Dobby. I think. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, I no. don't want to do that. No. Just at night. <laughs> How is he at salinating water? <laughs> She could help you with that. She could probably, yeah, she could figure it out. She's a smart lady. Uh, she's a very smart lady. It'd be I've, been actually, I've been reading if, a if lot you, of If tweets. you had a Dobby on the island, Dobby, you could take Dobby, Deb, Dobby, Dabby. Uh, you guys you could totally get off the island. Yeah, well, that's like so, this. Here's, Why? Here's, because he, like, is a magic. Yeah, he's a house elf. Yeah, he, like, Does he, he, he practically grants wishes is what he does. Mm, have you? No, he can disappear, though, that? and he can get other D stuff for Dobby you. Dobby can disappear? Yeah. Yeah. No, he, dude, he dude, can dude, transmute, like, yeah. yes, it, yes, he, he can nightcrawler it. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Well, why why can, can he when why, he needs why is can he, why is, all why is house elves gremlin? do that? Yeah, yeah, house don't you remember in the seventh can one? Creature? They, yeah, Creature. They told Creature yeah. to go and get somebody. He found the uh, Mundungus and brought him back to the house by just reappearing with him here's the thing with you and jk i feel like she get real fucking bored of you real quick <laughs> <laughs> like I, talk, I talk with you about harry potter sometimes and i'm like yo tell me how snape died again and an hour and a half later i'm like right i could have just wikipedia that shit yeah exactly. it would have taken two seconds this why did i just wiki it uh you I, wanted my you're a storyteller you, exactly because that was my bonfire i know that's what, that's what <laughs> oh, I was you know what my runner-up is Stuart p miller no it's not uh who is your runner-up author uh, okay Matt? Uh, but see, I really don't have a number one for this one, so I just have like two options. You never, you never commit on these lists. No, I mean I do. You rarely have a number one. <laughs> one time I you do. had a, one time you had a number two and a number three, but no number yeah, one. No number yeah, one. Yeah, that yeah. was my favorite. <laughs> and so uh, um, Hemingway, uh, but he seems like a, a total dick and a and a dude bro, and he would try to steal my girlfriend from me. He would so definitely maybe fight not you. So maybe not Hemingway. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally like what I wrote. <laughs> so both of your choices were like, dudes whose books I like, that would be insufferable to insufferable, live with. Insufferable, so therefore I'm going to choose them. Yes. 
Mac likes his <laughs> privacy, and if he's going to bring somebody who's insufferable, he knows that at the very least, the other person's going to be way at the other end of the island most of the I time. I feel like Hemingway would be tough. It would be because I feel like he'd talk a lot and he got drunk. Yeah, but also he'd he find like a puddle of fermented like fucking guava b- berries and like but at the fucking same get drunk time, on them. Yeah, yeah of course. But the shoot same himself time. with a makeshift fucking here's bamboo what, shotgun. Here's what I'll say: is that he's really good at like like. Oh, we're on a desert island. He's a survivor. He knows he's survivor man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. like he knows how to make a, a net to get some koi yeah. or whatever. See, you know I'm that person for us. That's that's what I'm contributing. Stu, oh, yeah. we're never going to be on a fucking sailing regatta, buddy. <laughs> Actually, I was I was going to say like the three of us on a deserted island, where it's just coconuts and crabs that we're we're, we're living off of. Who I, plays what role? Yeah, like, uh, I, I say uh, 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 Mo, yeah. <laughs> Larry, yeah. and Curly. Yeah, probably Mo, Larry, Curly. Yeah. Yes, what's I'm great right. is what's great is you're just saying Mo, Larry, and Curly, and the people listening can't. They don't see know who I'm pointing, pointing to. to. Yeah. So we'll leave it real amorphous. <laughs> so, you, you, who's Mo to you, Warren? Yeah, exactly. Qu- one, one, I don't watch a lot of Three Stooges. Yeah, the height of comedy. Yeah, but also in the face. Listen, my metabolism and my body type, I could totally out. Well, we know that we can eat. We're eating. We're eating stew first. I know. Damn yeah. it! And I me know. and you could probably live for a minute off of that. Yeah, yeah. Stu, you're not going to believe it, but my second choice for author is uh, Stephen King. Was it really? Yeah. Nice. It was. It was. Nice. We swapped. We Stephen, swapped. Stephen seas. King again. Yeah, it's a good. I choice. like a good yarn, man. And it's 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 along the same lines of Rowling, right? So like, I could read forever Harry Potter. Specifically, I would get Stephen King. I would tie him up. I would I would hobble him a la misery and just yep. bust out Dark Tower stories for me yeah. all day. Oh, there you no, go. And yeah. You guys are trapped. So you don't even have to like hobble him. Like he'll yeah, just he do wants it. to tell this stories. This dude cannot help but tell stories. Can you imagine yeah. if he gets there and he's like, eh, I just want to chill on this beach. <laughs> but he's a dude who can't help but tell stories. Yes. Yeah. And so look yeah, he. He's gonna want to sit there, like by a fireplace with well, a you guys dead with the fireplace. right there. I love and... daytime reading. <laughs> yeah, you can't even. How are you reading. reading the coconuts by the fire? The bird <laughs> blood isn't that dark. That's the thing. You don't need to read. You've got the author right there. They can just tell you the story. Yeah. I'd just be sitting there going, exactly and what then what happened? Yeah, they're, they're not going to write happened. it. They're not going to write it. They're going to gonna sit around and tell. I'm going to make mine write them because I'm sadistic. <laughs> yeah, just like, like yeah. Like, uh, prick your finger and write in blood. Or just write it on, the, on, on on this on this coconut tree. And they can write it in the beach on a stick, and I'll go to the highest point and, on the mountain and read the whole thing. They can just do sentence by sentence all day long. Oh, I just want to yeah. make them work. Uh, our third category, <laughs> uh, and now third category. Our third category is filmmakers. Uh, what filmmaker would you like on the island with you, Stu? So I, uh, my first filmmaker, I went with James Cameron. Uh, I went with James Cameron because I figure with all the Titanic stuff, I think he's like this like. He has the second uh, record for for deepest dive, or maybe the third record for deepest dive. Uh, second, is it the second? Yes. Right, so I just figured this it was is... in the thing. It wasn't like he wasn't. It wasn't him. No, no, no. I understand that, but I'm 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 saying. Oh, so in your scenario, James Cameron comes a package deal with a submarine. With a submarine. No, no, no. no Why no, don't you just, just leave the he island? Can save you from the island. I'm yeah. saying if if we're if we need to get off this island. He's probably the director who's going to know how to do it. And he knows marine biology. He knows it all. Yeah, yeah. he's he's really good about yeah, that stuff. He knows how to, yeah, he might not know how to I fish feel like for he's crap, great but he when knows he, what's edible. Well, I feel like he's good when he has access to his like billion dollars, but when he's just on an island, he's kind of a guy in his early well, 70s. It's the same thing with Hemingway, though. Like, yeah, you know, I'm not like, saying yeah, you made the, a good the, choice the, either. The, the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> no, I'm saying that this is a dude who knows like what's edible that comes out of the ocean. Yeah, yeah, that he, kind of thing. He knows what he's talking. It's about. actually that's actually I, I like that choice. I think so who was who was your filmmaker, Mackie? Uh, uh, well, one of my choices was Harvey Weinstein, but then I crossed it out. <laughs> I was just, oh, sorry. producer. I guess I'm, technically I'm a filmmaker. I'm pretty sure you don't no, want to be around we, him we in said water. Filmmaker. <laughs> you know, you'd be lucky though, because all those pla- none of those plants are potted, and he can't. Okay, he, he can okay. only get it hard if okay, there's a pot. Let me, let me cross that out. All right, I'm crossing we can it still out. do Weinstein jokes, right? Yeah, forever. Yeah, it's no, we're, always we're, funny. We're, yeah, I think that's uh, open, open, open season. season. Uh, uh, I wrote Tarantino, but he would like my feet too much. Uh, so I, I, I crossed that one out. So that's my second choice. Tarantino. Okay. God forbid like, someone likes your feet. <laughs> yeah, right? God forbid Tarantino not, not, not likes my feet. Not that much. I went, with, uh, I went with Hayao Miyazaki as my filmmaker. And you're both like... Wait, wait, no, yeah, no, no. who? He's, he's, he's the guy who did uh, Spirited Away? Exactly. And yeah. My Neighbor Totoro and Princess Mononoke and Howl's Moving Castle and Lupin and Castle in the Sky and Go-Go Panda. How, that's something Go-Go Panda. And <laughs> Ponyo on the Cliff and listen, cat returns. We're impressed. We're impressed. Regardless, here's why I pick Hayao Miyazaki. 
Because if he can get his hands on some fucking ink and some paint, he's making magic, right? That's all I want is just like whimsical, wonderful, like happy. So stories. you guys you're, are going to be hunting for some cuttlefish, well, some squid, <laughs> and like yeah, get some. Ink. Well, here, here, <laughs> what herein lies the thing with Miyazaki. I like my privacy. He's he's like a dick pretty much in every interview ever, and he's like an old curmudgeonly Japanese man who definitely don't want to chill with me. So I just like let him do his thing and make a cartoon, and every like two years he'd like come down to the beach. And like show me his new work, and yeah. then he would go off again. And then yeah, go do you know away. how long two years is, though? I, mean, this, this, I got stuff to you're do. You're gonna be really bored. I got stuff to do, man. Years. I got to collect firewood. I have to uh, here's learn how to swim better. And here's what I'll say: is that actually there's, there's here's what there, I'll say. Here's what I'll fucking say: uh, 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 is that there is a difference between a yeah, like a s- situation like that. You only talk to the person every two years. Or a Tarantino who will talk your fucking ear off for two years. Yeah, how big is the island we're talking about? I mean, is it like uh, lost size? Okay, it's how big, big is the island? Pretty, that we're... Gil- Gilligan <laughs> size. Pretty big. Yeah, okay, good. Gilligan's yeah. much smaller. Yeah, Gilligan yeah. size. Gilligan size. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going Miyazaki. Stu, who's your uh, runner-up filmmaker? Uh, so I went with Michael Bay for my runner-up filmmaker. Oh, because wow. Here, and here's why: I figure. Yeah. If we all finally decide to cash in our chips and it's done, he'd probably know how to make an explosive. <laughs> yeah, some, somehow you, all y'all will blow up yeah, at buddy, some point. You're on an island. You can just ram your head against a rock so yeah, you die from it. Yeah, yeah I know, but, but I prefer what, you, you don't, don't got the fucking guts to do it. I just want to. Yeah, I, I just want to get it over with very quickly. Yeah, and I want to go out and like, yeah, an explosion. Yeah, yes, exactly, thank you. exactly. Yeah, I'm with that. I'm with that. You can impale yourself on a bamboo. He, he also, you can drown also but also you have to hang out with Michael Bay for like a couple of years. If he could. <laughs> Do that. And I've done that for like five minutes. It's tough. Then he could, then he He's kind of repugnant. Also, like he could blow. He, he could make like a flare or something to signal any plane. Here's that the pass thing, by. Stu. And you're a dick because I me am. and Mac, yeah. all our choices. We're on this island for life. All your choices, you're trying to get off. What the fuck? What do you have against the island? I, yeah, what's up? What's up with your island, bro? I mean, eventually, so I'd, with like to have to, I'd like to get back into society. Why? What's so great about no, society? No, you are stuck here. You're stuck here forever, dude. Yeah, man, you're stuck. You're stuck with us. Well, like all your fucking with all Mo your, and Larry. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm not stuck with either of you. That was not part of the scenario. We'll wait. Till, we'll wait. Till, we'll wait to the last category and see if you chose either of yeah, us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Animals. <laughs> Don't give it away. And also, it's not. We switched, we switched the order, dummy. Oh, yeah, yeah. remember? Uh, um, go ahead, my me. last choice. Your runner-up uh, filmmaker. Yeah, was I picked Kevin Smith because he likes me. Okay, there you go. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. was almost going with Kevin. Honestly, Smith. and he he's makes re- you laugh, and he makes me laugh. Yeah. And he's a pleasant person, yeah. yep. and I want to be around him. Well, that's why. That's my my last choice was actually. Uh, are you guys familiar with Nick Park? He is uh, the head of Ardman Animation, so he did like Wallace and Gromit and Chicken Run. Okay. Oh, okay, I know you. And like, about the, now, yeah. I love claymation movies. I specifically love his. And like, if I'm on this island, I want cartoons. I want like light entertainment that makes me smile. What? And he can make like cool stuff out of like sand. And stuff. I was gonna say you might even find clay on the island. Yeah, yeah exactly. You could you could make that happen. Yeah. yeah. And he'll just go like, all right, look now, don't look, look now, don't look, look, <laughs> look away, look now, look again. Is this a look, he <laughs> winked. <laughs> um. Yeah, uh, we are. We are, uh, guys. I don't think we have enough categories to sustain a full episode. So we'll. we'll I don't know. We'll what, do are, what are we at now? We're at not enough time to sustain a full episode. <laughs> but we'll, we'll, we'll figure we're it out. We're we'll push good. through. We're good, we'll improv some. Yeah, so uh, let's keep going. For our next category, we we have animals. If you could bring any animal with you to this island, what would you bring, Stu? Go. All right. Well, I mean, obviously, I got to go with Steve. Uh, Steve's our Rottweiler. He's huge, and he definitely <laughs> like Steve. Just like, just like, just this dude. Do you guys Steve. not know Steve? Come yeah, on, yeah, right? Steve, you, you know how awesome Steve is. My brother took him out camping, and Steve tried to challenge a fucking bear because the bear. So got... Steve is retarded. Is... <laughs> I mean, Steve is stupid. Steve I'm is, woke as Steve fuck is, now. Yeah, he's unwoke. Yeah, yeah he's, I'm not saying he, he makes he the best delayed. choices. My, my V chip uh, uh, kicked in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Got, I'm not saying he he's makes a very the best choices, dog. but I will say that I would feel safe sleeping next to Steve. That he's, if anything gets close, he's going to take care of that problem. What's on your island? You have no idea. Well, I mean, we, we already know. We already know which bands, oh, yeah. which filmmakers. Well, we know the Beatles. <laughs> yeah. um, what what animal are you bring in? Uh, okay, Colk. Well, uh, is this like my like first or second? First know, or secondary? Whatever. No, whatever. your first choice. Uh, listen, here's what I want, and I'm really, really kind of just like I feel bad about this and everything like that. I want a baby bear. We've yeah, we talked about that on other I shows. Do. I, yeah. want, I want a baby bear. That stays like a baby forever. Right? It, yeah. it stays a baby forever. And actually, like, here's the thing: is that he can help me on the island. Like, he can, like, he can hunt boar. 
Look, you know, look, you can, you can do White this boar thing. and not salmon. I was about to say, what about salmon? I don't know. Salmon are, like, are rivers. I'm talking about like an island, bro. Like, yeah, like, I want him to climb a tree and get coconut for me. I mean, <laughs> but no, but the same day, I love both of your faces just, when I said that. Yeah, just, <laughs> you were just so sweet when you said it. I know, that's what I want. <laughs> I want a baby bear. It goes to a big bear, and then he makes and he kills he get, you, and he gets coconuts for me. <laughs> that's what I want. <laughs> we can work on that. Uh, if there are any bear bear breeders listening, uh, bunny, bunnyearspod at gmail dot com. Yeah, because I mean, listen, I have the rest of my life to like help and work with this bear. So I, 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 if you give me a full time bear, what does it need I help? Can totally what do does it. the bear need help with? I mean, as long as you're no, doing I mean, that, like a lion. Pe- people think get baby bears are great, but then all of a sudden they get old and they, they'll tear you apart. You yeah, know, that yeah. kind of thing. They'll tear you apart. Uh, that but friggin' bears will tear you apart, eh? Yeah. And my, my, you know, I'm talking eight. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, if you actually like raise it by like hand and like you actually spend every single day Feed every it single coconut hour, milk every morning if, Yeah, ex- crabs Yeah And yeah, boom, done uh, So I want, yes, I want a baby bear I am going with, no surprise here, my dog Helmut Because he's cooler than any of you <sighs> But he's going to be useless on an island. What do you mean? He can bark well, at everything I was, well, I was gonna, I was, but I was he bark say, at everything Well, here's the thing, there's no one else there for him to bark at uh, well, apparently yeah, he doesn't there's bar- he doesn't bark Rowling. when I'm alone. I was going to say, yeah. There's J.K. Rowling, there's Trey Anastasio, there's Mike Gordon, like, there's he, Patrick. He knows us, and he barks like crazy at us. Yeah, because yeah, you're he bark- shady. But like, yeah, obviously. Look at me. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, like, yeah. Do you think I, Trey I, I, won't be shady? Trey will be shady. No, nah, man, he's all clean now. Oh, come on. Fair enough. He's living that good life. Doesn't mean that Helmet won't bark at him. Regardless. Always. Regardless. Uh, interestingly enough, my, my runner-up, uh, and we'll switch right to this, uh, yeah. is, is a polar bear. Because I'll tell you why. Wait, you didn't oh, tell you us want what a you're bear? first? I did, Helmut. Oh, Helmut. I, uh, you lunatic. Yeah. My dog's a minpin, by the way. I want a polar bear, and I'll tell you why. Why is a polar bear specifically? Because they're the biggest and most ferocious bear breed. Yeah, but would you raise it by hand, and do you want it as a baby? Is Helmet this like island mine? of yours tropical or not? It could be. Have you, have you, have you not Lost? seen Lost? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, there's a polar bear on that island. There's a polar bear on Lost? I thought it was on a tropical island. Yeah, watch Lost. What a twist. But don't watch the last season because it sucks. (laughs) Watch 80% of Lost and you'll be happy. And then Um, just 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 deal with the fact that they never got off the island. (laughs) Just stop. Just stop. Uh, I picked a polar bear because here's why. No, I will not raise him from a pup because I am going to impl- use this polar He's bear. He's going to eat you. Nah, dude. He's gonna have adversarial We have role. mutual respect, and at most, this polar bear becomes my war steed. So you ever play a video game where you're like, all right, send in that thing. So you don't you go, you hide behind a wall, and you're like, I'm going to send in my my, uh, my dog to go bite that guy. What was that game called? You guys don't play video games. What am I talking about? I do. No, not really, no. You played Toe Jam and Earl. But yeah. You're talking about an RPG kind of thing. Ish, you know. or like even an action player game. It's the idea idea of like but Honestly, like a Metal Gear Solid you send in a scout before you run in to kill everyone or as much as the people they can yeah but if you didn't raise this thing by hand he wouldn't do he's that he's just gonna kill you he's just gonna kill you I have his wife <laughs> <laughs> he's never gonna see her again unless yeah, he oh, works with okay, me guys okay, yeah gotcha, oh, I didn't gotcha. explain that part of it I have his wife and family honestly it would turn into the, the gray or something yeah. like that. Like, no, I have his wife. Like, I have you just with some like little like mini bottles of like Jack Daniels. I have his wife fist. and family <laughs> on a FaceTime feed, and once a day I make him look at them for a proof of life, and then he's like, "Please let them go," and I'm like, "Only if you fucking Jesus Christ, look, this is a, fight a wild boar for me." You, you I thought more, about this. You have more backstory than me and Devin Sawa. I thought about this. Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> me and this bear. Ooh. Uh, so I have we, his wife and family. Yeah. He's yeah. never going to see them again. So, <laughs> so uh, my other backup, what well, was going to be our other dog, Henry, who's a golden retriever. He also barks, but only when people are getting too close. But I, I think I might... Was that a dig at my dog? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no but... Uh, <laughs> you, like, looked up you when talking, you said are you ta- that. Are you talking shit about Matt's dog, bro? Actually, yes. But only <laughs> when it's appropriate to bark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, only when it's appropriate to bark. Um, but but I, I I'm actually having second thoughts about that. I might go with the luck dragon from Never Ending Story. Ooh. Is that an animal? Yeah, that's fine. We didn't say non-fictional. Yeah, yeah. Are dragons animals? I guess so. Uh, luck dragon. Yes. Yeah. Are, are like a dog yeah. too. They're, right. not, they're not humans. Cool. What so is again, Falcor? is that what his name is? Falcor. Guess what? Yeah. Here's the rule: you're not allowed to fly off the fucking island, though. You know what? Your island has a dome over it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so you get a dragon. King. You get yeah. a dragon, but you can't go yeah. anywhere. Have yeah, fun. You have a luck dragon, but. It's Stop King. trying to cheat. Stephen King rules. There's a dome over. You're it. under the dome. All right. Look, look anything that I need on that island is going to come because I've got luck. 
on my side. True. So you know dragon what? wise, Fuck both of you. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, I should have said I got genie. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's my animal. Sure, the genie. I, yeah, theoretically, the genie. Brock Lesnar is an animal. He could help me in a fight, probably. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I want animal from LOD. <laughs> uh, I, I thought from the Muppets. I was like, I don't know if that's. Gonna you know help. what? Not an animal. It's a Muppet. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, real yeah. quick, switching it up. Any Muppet. Because <laughs> we ran out of <laughs> any Muppet. We have, definitely an, animal. We have, we have another one. Too. We have improv categories, but who's your Muppet? Definitely animal, without question. You don't think that get annoying? I I I can't see it getting annoying. Plus, I gotta, like, yeah, I, mean, I gotta have a backup drummer for Ringo, but like, what and if, for Fishman. But like, what if like you twisted your ankle and you're kind of just like, oh man, like I need you to bring me some bandages. Like, I brought you on bandages. <laughs> like, you know, like, kind of just. Was there a doctor Muppet? I don't remember well, there. Well, being... I'm just saying is that like Kermit would be like, oh, like I like I'll bring you bandages and like. <laughs> that was a great Kermit minute. impression. Is Kermit <laughs> here? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Kermit, you're here. <laughs> Kermit the Frog. Uh, Kermit the Frog here. Yes, there you go. Yeah. Kermit's better than mine. Uh, no, it's uh, not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, stop. But also, like, all of a sudden, like, animal, like, comes, like, running up and, like, can I help? <laughs> Who's yours, Mac? Uh, my, like, Muppet that what I want to be on an island. I like in the situation I've sprained my ankle. I know. Of course you say. did, you clumsy let's, fuck. Let's say you need help. You don't want the guy who's like kind of like can't do anything. Yeah, and like, I'm picking a competent Muppet. Maybe Doctor Teeth. Honestly, because he's, he's a doctor. doctor. Okay, I, I'm I'm going to split this one. I'm going to go with one A and one B. One A is Ralph. Yeah, I, uh, you, took, mine. you took mine. mine. I took yeah, yours. Mine, yeah. I mean, like honestly, he's a fucking like just chill. stoner, yeah, chill, just fucking chill with him, motherfucker. Like, fucking sing like. I could live Otis Redding songs and roll joints and shit. I could live the next forty years with Ralph. Yeah, totally, yeah. man. And I like dogs, and he's like a cool um, dog. But also, my one B will be a uh, uh, Fozzie. I was going to say Fozzie. I, 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 I want terrible dad jokes. Yeah, you he would just him. make you, you laugh dad jokes. all the time. Yeah, ex- he, and like, even when he doesn't make me laugh, he'll make he'll me laugh. He'll make you laugh. Stop yeah. accentuating by punching the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, there you go, guys. Thank you. Um, so I'm bringing I'm bringing Ralph too because you know what. Cool as shit, man. Way cooler than Muppets you picked, too. Yeah. <laughs> you got bad no, taste in Muppets. He, he, he seems like a stoned black musician. Yeah. Like jazz musician yeah. from the 1950s. And that's not racist because I said it on a previous podcast. No. So no. put it on me, America. It's not, it's not racist if someone... No, he does. He's it's not cool. racist if someone's black. It's the same reason It's the same reason my favorite cereal mascot was that bear. Like, I like cool black guys. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? I mean um, and Winston. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> celebrities. Low. <laughs> celebrities if we're <laughs> I had to uh, I, celebrities you know I, from the last uh, last time I was here with you guys I had to go with Anna Kendrick um, just because I think she's sweet and I would she is sweet to be honest look yes I've, I've run into her more than once and she is like yeah, she's gold I've heard nothing but bad things about her <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. whatever but like, whatever like, take that back. like what uh, that she is very nice to everyone, and she's oh, a God, great actress. I hate that. I hate, oh, I hate both oh, wow. of those. Those are terrible things. <laughs> oh gosh, That's bottoms I, in my book. Yeah, she, that girl does not know how to fish and doesn't yeah. know what to do with, exactly. her, with a broken yeah, yeah. ankle. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, who did you pick for your first celebrity, Colkin? Uh, uh, first, second, first. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Like I don't know. Sometimes we like count down. Uh, okay. I put a big question mark next to this. If I said Jesus. He's a celebrity. I he's love. I, you know, of course, he's a celebrity. Do you mean but, like historical Jesus or like magical Jesus or like? <laughs> <laughs> which, Jesus. no offense to the believers out there, I guess. He's so Jewish. It's great. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, Jew uh, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's uh, just cool black Jesus. The, the real, the real dude. The historical Jesus. Uh, yeah, I want. I want to fucking pick that guy's brain and kind of just like yeah, like you speak Aramaic. Yeah, man. <laughs> I, I I've watched Mel Gibson movies. Okay, I know how to, I know how to speak Aramaic. I know every word of the Passion of Christ by heart. Thank you. Right? That's where Macaulay Culkin was for the last fifteen uh, years, no, there, just watching the Passion of Christ over and over again. Th- there's some, there, but there's some background there that I bet you he would feel a lot different you, so about everything that's going on. You're doing it for the conversation and not the like magic shoes. I'm spending and shit. the rest of my life on this. Did he have magic shoes? Uh, no, he I just think I'm something. That... Actually, he could walk me home. No, nope, yes, don't. You, you just got, walk on water. Guess what? You just got domed. 
Uh, but I he pick, could turn the water into wine, which is great. Yeah, that, I mean, that helps. It would take a long time. And he but wouldn't, like, yes, he he wouldn't feed you a fish. He'd teach you how to fish. He'd teach me how to I fish. I feel like these yeah. are all Bible things. I, yes. And I'm offended. <laughs> yes. uh, he walked in water and knew Warren, how to fish. My, <laughs> Matt Cohen's here going, what are you guys talking about? Satan, <laughs> Satan you still my boo. Um, I, I picked someone. Now, mine is... Satan, you're still my boo. Mine is a little... Uh, I don't know if this guy's technically a celebrity. He had a television show. And, and here's my... Way to survive on this island. I'm bringing the Survivor Man, Les Stroud. Okay, there you go. I like that. Fuck you, Bear Grylls, because that shit was staged. Les Stroud would <laughs> would be dropped off on an island and do all the camera work. I once saw him like... <laughs> he didn't even do the camera work. Drink his you. urine for no reason. Do you guys remember Survivor Man? <laughs> I, yes. I it was the better him right. also. It was the better version of Bear Grylls, right? Yeah. Because he yeah. was actually doing this and setting up the camera shot. No, I, he would actually use the tape from the camera itself. As like, you he know, was yeah. amazing. I wanted, and he played harmonica. I wanted to choose him, but the celebrities were already taken. I was going to put him down as filmmaker because I kind of thought, Less okay. Trout. But then yeah. I was like, is that really a film? More of a TV show. Well, you didn't write it down either. I didn't way. write it down either yeah. way. So you, 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 I got you, him. You so good luck. Out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn it. I'm, I'm sweet. I'm listening to some sweet listen, harmonica listen, jams. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Who's yeah. your celebrity? I have second. Jesus. And like, what do you got? Who's your backup? Yeah, my my backup uh, because he no longer gets to. I mean, he's not the president anymore. I went with. Barack Obama, because I think he'd be He's a really a rad interesting dude yeah. to talk to, and yeah. I feel like even that's racist. I, well, no, here's my thing. <laughs> I'd even figure stop going with cool black guys. It's, it's you know after after eight years, I wasn't tired of him. So you know, I figure I could do another uh, eight. There you go, touche. There you go. You're, you're thinking long term now. Well, you should have voted him for a third time. It's assholes like you are the reason we have the current state we're in. Hashtag me too. Uh, <laughs> Matt, who's your backup? Um, okay, this guy falls under the same category as Hemingway, but uh, um, uh, I'm going with Teddy Roosevelt. Okay, that makes sense to me. Yeah, well, he can like he's a, he rough can help rider, he's a rough rider, hunt and fish. My and, like, dogs don't stop, but Yo also dogs don't drop. Sorry. But also, he's going to be an obnoxious like dude, bro. Also, he's, he'll take on Hemingway for you, which is great. That would be great. Actually, now you don't have to fight either of them. <laughs> You can just sit when, back and watch Hemingway. When we and, and get to the end of this episode, let's look at every, what's on everyone's eyes. And, and then see with our mesh. Yeah, <laughs> see what write our down mesh your Muppets. Looks write like. down your Muppets, everyone. Give me that pen, Stu. <laughs> and then write down your Muppet. Um, my backup celebrity is someone I forgot to list in my Celebrity Crush episode, and uh, I made a mistake by not listing her. And it's and it's Jennifer Lawrence, and I think she's great. And we'll leave it at that. Yeah, I right, honestly, I don't know. Right now, I'm like feeling bad for not saying Kelly Kapowski for bringing a girl with Kelly, you, Kelly Kapowski. Yeah, like what am I? I'm bringing fucking Teddy Roosevelt. I should be bringing. Like, Here's the thing: the, I mentioned <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence during the game, and then I saw some photos online from a recent thing she did, and I was like, "Oh, we're gonna boost her up to like top three now." So yeah, fair enough. Fair I, enough. I, I don't know if you guys. And she's a up talent. Did you love Mother Exclamation Point? Because I did. <laughs> <laughs> they ate that baby. I specifically in my first round of people that I would have on the island, I specifically chose everybody who would be 40 years older than Anna Kendrick and myself. <laughs> yeah, that, that just, was, just so they won't nail her. Oh, wouldn't like, it <laughs> suck if like you purpose. brought fish to the island and they all like started dating Anna Kendrick and they were all like, "Hey, isn't it weird that we're in like a four-way polyamorous relationship with Anna Kendrick and everyone on this island gets to kiss her and stuff except for used to?" I, I mean, I figure <laughs> I'm, I'm already bringing people who are much more brilliant than I am. All so, right, like, Wait, I need let's, the age let's thing. just do this, Anna Kendrick. If you're listening, or Mr. and Mrs. Kendrick, or or Kendrick Lamar, even. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Any guy, uh, Kendrick. Can we hook Stu up with a date? And, and I, I want to point out, what I, would you do on a date with Anna Kendrick? I picked what you, would you do? over yeah, Barack yeah, Obama. You weren't on. You weren't really on the Celebrity Crush episode or the sex episode. What would you do on a date with Anna Kendrick? She, she's listening right now, Stu. Yeah, she's listening. Dating right game now. style. Pitch like, yourself. Yeah, Suitor number pitch. one. <laughs> Suitor number one. How would you take Anna Kendrick out on a night on the town Ooh. on this island? I don't know, man. I'd probably just on the island. Yeah. <sighs> Boy, it's it'd be really difficult. Welcome to, to Dating Game Island Edition. <laughs> We're here on Stutopia. <laughs> Suitor number one, get it? Stutor number one. <laughs> if you could take, I feel like it would be tough. Pulling up uh, like a, a romantic evening when we're just stuck on the island. Okay, right. fine. You're, you're, you're in. Suitor yeah. number two. I would take you down to the lagoon and then I'd show you the night under the stars. That stew guy couldn't think of a single answer, Anna Kendrick. <laughs> Looks like you're going to wind up with me just by the basis of the fact that I could fucking improvise an answer to a woman on an island. Um, Suitor number three. Stars. <laughs> Let's look Damn at it, stars. Damn it, that's already better than mine. <laughs> Stu, uh, suitor number one, uh, 
Anna loves seafood. If you could cook her a romantic meal, what would it be? Well, I don't know. I mean, salmon's usually the one that I go with there. I think I, I, I cook a pretty mean salmon. Bachelor number three. I eat your fish, girl. <laughs> Bachelor number two. <laughs> Baba Booey, Baba Booey, Howard Stern's penis. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. I think I think I think we're still in the lead. Yeah, we we were winning. Uh <laughs> Stu, you pick a quick category. Go. Quick fire. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Top two movies. You guys gotta choose top two movies to take movies? with you that you can watch over and over and over again and they never I mean they'll Why go, us guys? You gotta do it too. Yeah, yeah. Obviously too. I gotta do it. What too. do you mean by yeah. you? I've already Obviously been put in answer. that position. I'll go with Pulp Fiction and Josie and the Pussycats. Boom. Okay. Done. Yeah. 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 You, you've always been a Josie and the Pussycats guy. I know I have. It's really, I, I, I actually admire it first because I've never it's, seen it. I, but I, I stand by that movie. Yeah, you do, I man. Do. You... I, th- I think that movie is genius. Yep. I think the soundtrack is great. Okay. Uh, yes, I, I came out of the closet when it came to that kind of thing where it was, there's a bunch of Josie and the Pussycat, like, closet people. Okay. And the, guy, like, the more of us that come out... The better Josie and the Pussycats are. But yes. <laughs> there you go. Thank uh, you. I'm going to go with uh, Roger Rabbit as my number one. Obviously. And my number two will be the collected works of Riley Reed, who is the avian porn star of the year, 2016. I know who Riley Reed is. She has is. that cool back tattoo. I know what's up. Yeah. <laughs> Stu, don't, Stu don't know what's up. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I don't know what's up. Well, what, are you, what are you doing faking over there? Uh, Riley Reed, if you're listening, come on the show. We both know who you are now. <laughs> Uh, you, you remind me of someone in my past. Yeah. <laughs> I got to go with, uh, I'm, I'm, this is a boring answer, but uh, I got to go with, with Godfather. And, uh, yeah, of course and, it's a boring answer when we're talking about Riley Reed's back tattoo. <laughs> but go ahead. My, my backup is Life of Brian. Got to oh. be. Which, oh, yeah, by yeah. the way, I want to point out, there's somebody amongst the two of you who introduced me to Life of Brian back in 1995. Was it me? It was not you. Oh, okay. Um, was and, it Mac? And I should thank you for that, because I think- Me or Mac? Uh, it's definitely Mac. Okay, and I, Mac, listen. I've seen I'm that listening. movie- He's talking to you. I'm listening. <laughs> easily, I've seen that movie 80 to 90 times at this point, and it just, you discover wait, wait, new wait, things. Wait, wait, which one? The, the, the no. Life of Brian <laughs> no, no, Cohen. No, 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 I'm just kidding. <laughs> just said I was listening. Uh, <laughs> He gets it. See, that's comedy, Stu. That's why you're on, See, that's that's why you're on the show occasionally. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Fair We're enough. training you Fair so enough. you can have your own show. There we go. There we go. So you're gonna have a podcast of your own one day, aren't you? I'm gonna try to. Yeah. I think like that's the first spinoff show, clearly, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Stu, <laughs> Stu's corner. Stu's adventures. Is yeah. about Riley Reed the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't even know who she is, man. Back no tattoos. You guys are talking. About. He can't even attach an image on an email. You think he knows how to look up porn? <laughs> He doesn't know back tattoos from he's, all but the He's in a Barnes and Noble. He's at the one Barnes and Noble left in America buying a Playboy. <laughs> <laughs> they still Boom. make those? Boom. Yeah, buddy, they do. Uh, yeah, uh, they did. They do. They took out nudity for like a month or something. They were like, all right, we're just a normal magazine now. And then that didn't work. So they're like, oh, all right, boy? we're yeah, naked again. Yeah, that was... They went an entire month, huh? They might have gone longer even, but they definitely went no nude for a minute in the last like couple years. I yeah, think. They yeah tri- I remember they, that. It tried to be Maxima a little bit. That was like kind of their deal. Yeah. Yo, that was like, were you guys, were you guys, were you guys on that train? On the Maxim train? Maxim. Stuff. FHM. Every, so every month. You of course so I was. Were. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was my life. Uh, yeah, I, I. You didn't. I enjoyed Maxim. I. I subscribed to Maxim stuff and I, FHM. I never subscribed to it. I like bought two magazines and I was done. My entire I, wall. I, I did. Gr- I did the girls on their list. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> you're also all super old. Give me some time. I'll date girls on like what's the list now? Like Buzzfeed. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I had a wall. We should do lists of yeah. girls on our website. Favorite lists of girls <laughs> on our website. I had a wall of like ma- all the Maxim fo- like pages I pulled out. Like my entire wall of my bedroom was just like Maxim women staring at me and making me feel inadequate. Wow. It was great. There wow. That, that's, that's, <laughs> go on. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> yeah, keep talking. Going. I wouldn't even <laughs> masturbate to them though. That's the truth. Because like I had porn. I just like the aesthetic of pretty women, I guess. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, what do we got for another category? Uh, so, so that was movies. Matt, give, me, give us a quick fire. Oh, a, qu- a quick five, fire. Five, four, three, two, category. Start at seven. No. Seven, <laughs> five, four. <laughs> uh, let's go with a comic book character. How about that? To bring with us on an island. Yeah. Okay, but once how again, about, we're not yeah. trying to get off the island. Nope. I mean, 
No, you, apparently, listen, you listen. and I are stuck in domes. You're right? domed, Here's, motherfuckers. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, you you we're flew domed. too close we're to domed. the sun. That, yeah, yeah. Dude, you were stuck with this person like in infinitum, kind of thing. Like until you, until one of you dies, and like okay, yeah. so Archangel is probably not that great. Yeah, exactly. to bring well, okay. I mean, you can bring. I mean, you can, you, you can wasp, wasp, you. you can wasp talk wasp with fucking Warren Worthington the third, but I don't know if he can fly <laughs> yes. you off your domed island. Yeah, stew. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna hit, you're gonna hit some glass. You got domed. I actually kind of would like to bring Wolverine. Yeah, of uh, course. Just for fun, because he's going to way outlive me, but he's under a dome. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's so mean and I cruel. Know. He's, he's going to live thousands of years <laughs> under, under that dome under, by himself. With, uh, he's he's going he, to get like tired of coconuts. You just want to doom into an eternity he's by like, himself. Like, yeah. I mean, I'm kind of going there right now. Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Since he's stuck on the island and everything. Yeah. Is, is, so so can, are we. Can Wolverine, uh, can he live underwater? Yeah. Uh, the the whole breathing he, underwater. He'll die and just keep coming back to life. He won't, yeah, he won't die per se. He'll okay. drown. He yes. can drown. Uh, uh, he can but his drown, lungs will then just refill with air. His, his, his cells will still turn over. Like that's you can cut his thing. head off, Stu. <laughs> cut yeah, all yeah, her bits yeah, off. Yeah, exactly. Um, like yeah, he's he's like yeah. Like he 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 transcends Highlander rules. Okay. Uh, because right. of because of that last category and uh, and the, the subject of Riley Reed, I realized I'm only bringing Jen- <laughs> the only girl here is Jennifer Lawrence, and she might she not like, she character? might not like me. So I'm gonna go with uh, someone who is both an, an attractive woman and and someone who is stronger than any of the superheroes you've named, and it is Miss Emma Frost. Oh, uh, yeah, you do have a... Omega-level yeah. psychic. I was going to say you have a, uh, a soft spot. I, I was going to say you have, have a hard, hard spot, spot for Emma. Yeah, you yeah, have yeah. a hard spot for her. I'm a, big, her. I'm a big Emma Frost guy. Do you know who that is, too? Yeah, I do actually know who Emma Frost is. All right. And, all and, right. and I don't... I applaud your decision, Thank sir. you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. And yeah, the only no, person she's... I would put above that, if, if you're going to go along those Please lines, do. is you should just bring Mystique. Because then she can just be any character you want her to be. Mm-hmm. Mm. That... But she's got blue skin. I'm racist. Actually, I'm kind of into see, the blue skin. I can but, deal with are it. You? Okay, yeah. look, but look at Emma Frost in the long term kind of thing and her powers. Like she can, like you know, she's a telepath. She can Omega level fucking telepath. Yeah. you know what? She could get bored on that island and she's gonna fuck with you. Oh, also for I, the next like thirty years. She could. Yeah. I also but yes, and I like that because I'm I have horrible self esteem. But <laughs> but no, but also she'll like make you dance like a marionette. But it, she can also do this to answer your question. <laughs> guess what she can do? She she can turn herself into a diamond and cut through that fucking she dome that you put on. Else. Guess what? Else? I don't have a dome on mine. Guess what else she can do? <laughs> I never tried to get off mine. There's no dome. She can make you like believe whatever you're seeing, right? Because she can control your mind. Yes, I mean, she can so I don't need look, Mystique. She you can fucking make, asshole. She can make herself look like Thank Jennifer you. Lawrence or Riley. She kind of already does. <laughs> well, t- Mystique already is Jennifer Lawrence. So I mean, you no, got no, that it's in. January Pro- Jones. No, oh, January Mystique, Jones is... No, oh, never mind. I thought you were talking about... Emma. Crisscross Mystique. applesauce. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I misheard you. Stu, uh, uh, do we, are we doing two each? Uh, yeah, I guess Go. we're doing two Also, each. Wolverine can do some hunting for me also. Yeah, oh no, I think yeah, Wolverine we, is we the are, solid choice. We are eating wild and boar I kind of dig the night. cruelty thing that you're doing to him, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, you know what? I got my second one. I got my <laughs> second like one. Cruelty thing. I got my second one. I dig that cruelty thing you're all about, man. <laughs> hey, man, I really dig that you got that real cruel streak in you. the angle that you're going like, for. Like, guess what, Wolverine? I got to live here for another 40 years, but then I'm done. You're here forever. You're here forever. <laughs> yeah, it's like buying an African gray parrot when you're an old man. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm out. Have fun. I'm out. <laughs> Feed and, yourself, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Eat my bones and shit. I don't know. That might last a couple of years. <laughs> Won't matter because you're uh, going to live forever. I'm bringing Dr. John Osterman. That's right. Dr. Manhattan is coming with me to my island. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, that's cheating, Matt. No, 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 no. Okay, you staying, can't leave your island. I'm staying on the island. I'm he just making leave. it whatever the fuck I want. So now, Fish, J.K. Rowling, <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence, Hayao Miyazaki, we're living in a paradise with skyscrapers and roller coasters, and it's all on the island, and we never leave it because it's still under the rules of my game that I just made up with the yeah, dome thing. Yeah, because every band needs skyscrapers too, man. Yeah. Every band <laughs> yeah, needs yeah, skyscrapers exactly. too. There you go, fantasy board. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you're happy. <laughs> you custy noobs. Um, Go for it, man. What, number two. What, oh, number two for yeah. for uh, Superhero. superheroes. Uh, I mean, I guess I went number one with Wolverine because I'm on board with that. And then <laughs> he's like, okay, cool, good. Yeah, yeah and, you're and, on the Wolverine trolley. And I actually probably would go with Mystique more from because she could be anyone. She could yeah. be anyone, but also I feel like she would fuck with Wolverine a lot, and I would get a lot of entertainment <laughs> out of that. Um, Although he can always tell who she is because he can smell hey, her. Excuse me, I don't know how you're familiar with a runner-up scenario, but they won't both be there. 
because it's either Wolverine uh, or Mystique. Okay. You lunatic. I still think she would fuck with a lot of people, yeah. which I'd be down <laughs> with. That, like, what if, what you want to create discord you? on this island community? I, I feel like it'd be more fun with some discord. That, that I'm okay. is, am I am I the yes. only one? Yeah. It doesn't need to be you harmony. Like, you like drama. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just saying, you know, if, if it were harmony, eventually we would figure out a way to make it All Discord. Right, quick I one. just figure start there. Ready? Yeah. Colkin, go. Rory. Colkin, go. Oh, I'm going, I'm going Kieran. I'm going Rory. Oh, yeah, I got to go Kieran. Kieran? Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. much self explanatory yeah. on yeah. all fronts, yeah. right? Yeah. So, so Rory's. Kieran's my, delightful. Yeah, Rory's yeah. I'm adding <laughs> Kieran to my list. Yeah, I'm adding Rory. Wait, you guys took my pen. Why do I. Uh, do we want to do one more one more rap? We got there, boys. Do we want to do one more category? <laughs> and that's yeah, podcasting you. magic. You got five seconds, Matt. Pod, have, <laughs> Wait, five, five yeah, podcast. four, three, two, Ooh. one. Category, go. category, go. Ty- type of weapon. Ooh, okay. okay. Yeah, I'm down with that. Okay. Uh, All right. Um, uh, yeah, you start. You start. I mean, you know, I feel like an axe would be a good one, but like a, you know, like one of those medieval axes. I don't know what they're called, but I think they're called axe. a battle axe. Like maybe a battle axe, but like, you know, something that you could fight with also. Um, cause I figure you could also chop down a tree while you did, you know, while you're at it. Um, be careful though, man. That's how Easter Island went out. It's true. Don't chop down trees on an Island, homie. He, he's rot, you know, That's that, well, obviously I would plant, <laughs> you know, 10 trees for every one. Cool. You'll be dead down. by the time any of them grow. That I would do it at a very slow. You're gonna pace. fall on your axe accidentally, dude. <laughs> and that's why they call it accidentally because the guy oh, fell on an axe. But, um, that's a dad so joke. This, yeah, that's a, a dad joke. joke. Fozzie yeah. would definitely. Yeah, see, yeah, that's why I want Fozzie on my axe. Waka waka waka. <laughs> um, what weapon are you bringing, sir? Uh, okay, I'm gonna call this a uh, weapon. I'm, I'm gonna say a vibrator. <laughs> I like There's, it. Yeah, some kind of vibrator. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, and actually, I in my notes I have with batteries. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to run out. Uh, yeah. So. Eventually, you're going to though. Yeah, exactly. But you got to conserve get. power. Rechargeable batteries. Man. <laughs> yes. Yes. Or a vibrator that runs on coconut milk. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't know, Stu. He was, he's got people on the island with him. They might have a fucking. A Mophie pack with them or whatever. It's <laughs> Thank called. you. Wolverine would love it. Uh, I think. I think I'm going with. Um, uh, uh, I wanted to say lightsaber, but that's very violent. And like, I feel like the polar bear that I'm using is See, a, a vibrator is actually more impor- like important. Like you actually use that than a lightsaber. Yeah, I feel like you could use a lightsaber. No, I'm just saying what's more important. Uh, okay. <laughs> so regardless, who, <laughs> wait, regardless, who's yeah. lightsaber? I mean, because if you're going to go with Darth Maul's, then you got, you know, double-edged lightsaber. If yeah, you're going to you go wanna, with you, you, Kylo you, Ren's, you, you, you got one with, like, little handles. <laughs> Mace Windu. And I'll tell you why. Because You purple. want the purple one. Cool black guy. And that's <laughs> what we call a callback. <laughs> yeah. We're professional podcasters. <laughs> <laughs> we we get paid for this shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is our jobs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, guys. Thanks, America. And thanks for listening. Yeah, yeah. So who's on our islands? Okay, do we have a, a but I'm, Oh, excuse me. So I'm not going with the lightsaber. I'm going with the weapon of choice. There you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look, the Fat Boy Sim Yes, song. exactly. I'm <laughs> bringing the Fat Boy Sim song, and I'm going to do audio torture and just blast, blare it. Uh, and, the, and they'll be there with fish. It'll be like fish with lep- weapon of choice. Well, who's, who's on your islands, guys? Name your, what is the name of your island, and who's on it? Okay. Um, uh, Stu. Yeah, I mean, Stu. Stutopia, yes, I guess. Okay, who do, we, who do we got? Got, and only go with your first choices. Okay, so we got Beatles, we got Stephen King, we've got James Cameron, we got Anna Kendrick over Barack Obama. I think she'd be more interesting. Uh, we got my dog Steve. We've got um, for Muppets. I'm sorry, I got to go Animal just because I find him entertaining. But it's too bad because I do like Fozzie. Uh, I'm definitely going with Kieran Culkin on there. We're going to be watching The Godfather. And uh, shit, is that going to be a problem with the Anna Kendrick thing though? Damn it. See, uh, All thinking. right, I'll figure it yeah, out. Thinking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you know Kieran's going to steal Anna Kendrick from you. And I <laughs> you will know definitely. Kieran, ha- smooth. And I will have the battle axe with me to take care of Kieran when that happens. There you go. That's really fucked up thing you say about our host brother, <laughs> Stu, and we will not be seeing you for a few weeks. See, it, it, I'm going with a. Uh, uh, it's My island is named Devin Sawa. Yep. And I'm going with. Uh, uh, what, I got a young Debbie Harry. Uh, got Hemingway. Kevin Smith, uh, Kelly Kapowski, actually. I, I've changed my yeah, mind. You can, yeah, well, I'm yeah, changing yeah, my mind yeah, a couple yeah, times. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going with a baby bear. I'm changing. Uh, uh, Fozzie. Or I'm going to go with Fozzie. Okay. Over Ralph. Yep. So you, you can have Ralph. Okay. Uh, and Ralph. then, um, do you see the post Isn't it Rolf? 
Wo- Ralph. 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 Yeah. Ralph. I'm a dog. Uh, <laughs> I'm a dog. I'm a dog who plays piano. Uh, uh, just in the pussy cat. You see the chambermaids. Wolverine, Rory, and a vibrator. That's cool. what I want on my island. <laughs> and on my island, we'll be grooving to the sweet tunes of the four boys from Burlington, Vermont. Fish. We'll be reading tales of uh, of Hogwarts and Hogsmeade by J.K. Rowling. <laughs> Watching movies by the one and only Hayao Miyazaki. Konnichiwa. Uh, Les Stroud is going to tell us how to eat stuff that we don't know how to eat. My dog's going to be there to watch it all. Emma Frost is my new lady friend. Uh, Ralph's going to be there. Uh, I'm bringing. Can, can Ralph play with fish? That yeah, would be man. awesome. I'm down. Absolutely. Me too. Uh, I'm switching out Roger Rabbit. <laughs> yeah, I don't Rabbit. think Paige would be against I'm that. I'm switching out Roger Rabbit for the Riley Reed collection. Ooh, there you go. I had a girl. Uh, uh, and we are um, bringing the weapon of choice with us. And I think I got all my categories, guys. Cool. I think honestly, I kind of dig our islands. And my island's called Utopia. Hey, guys, you guys want to swap islands? <laughs> Warren, <laughs> it's time for an art project. And this time, now, okay, so we have <laughs> we have a website. <laughs> I see where you're going, and I like it. Me okay, too. <laughs> okay, we have a website now, right? And we've on that website. There's a podcast subsection. Draw our island, design our islands. You've got Stutopia, you've got Devon Sawa, and you've got Utopia. You know who's on them. You know what they look like. I've described mine as a as a skyscraper filled roller coaster uh, heaven with Jennifer Lawrence. Stu's got a dome over his. Max got a dome over his. I yeah, I uh, Fozzie bear and a baby bear. So so uh, hit us up, uh, uh, bunnyearspod at gmail. Send us your designs and maybe we will feature them on. We will definitely feature our favorite uh, island designs on this episode's guide over at bunnyears dot com. One hundred percent, absolutely. Yeah. And if you haven't checked it out already on a podcast front, we're doing like cool annotated episode guides. Yeah. So if you ever wanted to see like a minute by minute breakdown of the ridiculous shit we talk about. Yeah. And things to like, like click on. Yeah. And like links. And, and like, if you ever like don't if know. You, what, yeah. If you don't know what Fozzie Bear is. Boom. Or the band Fozzie. Yes. Oh, there you go. There you go. Shout I, out. I like what you did. Shout out. Uh, and that's about it. Let's, let's, uh, you want to, do we want to play a game real quick? I don't know. You got I, some time? You want to do one round? What are we looking at? Actually, no. I should get the fuck out All of right, here. Never mind. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Teaser. We'll save it for next time. Let's do plugs. Stu, where are you? Uh, you can find me at Suave Adventure on Instagram and uh, Stu Miller 3 on uh, on Twitter. Where can people find your writings? Where can people... You can Thank you, buddy. Uh, you can find my writings in Stu Corner on uh, bunnyears.com. Yeah, you can. Macaulay you Culkin, go. where you at? Uh, I'm I'm on uh, the Page Master. <laughs> If you rent the page master, you will see Macaulay Culkin. Yes, that is true. Uh, social media wise, look for look for him. You'll know where to find uh, him. Uh, uh, I'm the incredible Culk, really, and, and uh, Culkamania, right? And Culkamania on, on Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, exactly. and uh, like we said earlier, uh, I'm Camel Toad on all the things. Go to bunnyers.com. Uh, check out our articles. We got tons of stuff. You all know that. Also, if you want to talk to the pod, like we said, bunnyerspod at gmail.com. Bunnyerspod on. Twitter and the Bunny Ears podcast on Instagram. And of course, if you want to call and leave a voicemail for yeah. the boys, yeah, you do it. It's uh, 845-393-4629. That's 845-EZE-HOAX. And that's them plugs. Also, we got a YouTube. Do that. Yeah. That's not them plugs. Now that's them plugs. Mac, how do we end this show? Trying to suck too many dicks. And if you do, soon pay. We out. Mac's got a plane oh, to catch. Microphone <laughs> drop. Find me, gag me. Take me to the bunny ranch. Oh, shit, guys. All right. It's Frank, and I possibly have the most renowned, like, fucking, the, the not renowned, the, the, the fucking most astonishing fact for you guys today. First off, I got to say, Matt, love you, man. Mac, you're the fucking... Best actor, well, not that. You're, you're great. I love you. I love you, Stu. You little fuck. You little fuck. You fucking. I love you, man. Anyways, all right. So here's the fact, and this is gonna blow everyone's minds away. It is a true fucking fact that if you listen to Bunny Ears Pod, your life gets better. That's it. The fact. Have a great one. Later, guys. Dude, you're, you guys are pretty on second point. Uh, I don't know how I missed the Corey Feldman music video, but what the fuck, dude? So happy that you guys brought that up on the show. You guys are doing an awesome job. I'm, like, dumbfounded still by this video. 
And I just want to say, I never thought I would want to call in, but that's how approachable you guys are. That's like how chill this whole thing has been. So thank you. Keep it up and have a great day. Hi. Hi. It's, it's Mac. I'm playing Toe Jam and Earl right now. I just want to say hi to all my Warren. So, uh, I guess I'm done. <laughs> okay, bye, jerks. A Bunny Ears LLC production. You are freaking lumberjack! <laughs>